Beautiful. Hello everybody, hope all's well. This is Stephen from Thailand Unplugged. I'm just with Mal at the moment. We're in Vientiane in Laos. Yes, the beautiful city of Vientiane. The large archway you can see in the distance, flying that guy, is uh, the Victory Monument. It was built to celebrate the uh, victory over the French. Independence from the French, I should say. It's called the Patsu Sai and is, uh, well, it's one of uh, Vientiane's main attractions. Loosely based on the Arc de Clion in Paris. It's a huge archway, believe me. The reason for the Victory Monument is the uh, independence from France in 1949. The monument was built using American funds and cement, actually intended to build a new airport. The Royal Laotian government instead built the monument, which earned the nickname of Vertical Runway. The monument is very symmetrical. As you enter the arch, you'll realise that it's square with an entrance on each side. The ceiling is the centre and is covered in beautiful artwork, and stairs lead up to the top of the monument. It costs around 3,000 kip to enter. In May 1975, the Communist Party of Lao overthrew the coalition government and seized power, ending the ancient monarchy and installing a half-Vietnamese Prime Minister. They renamed the monument in honour of their own victory. So it's, uh, that's why they call it the Victory Monument, I guess. This is from the first floor, um, a view of the ceiling central part of the um, uh, monument. Oh, fantastic artwork, look at that. Really well done. It's really nice. Shopping. Up here. Oh, surprise, surprise. Oh, I've got a lot of stuff here, Mel. Hmm. Do you think they'd have some sort of memorial or history of the place here instead of a market? But never mind. There's some statues there. Plenty of hats. The Vietnamese hats. Ooh. Oh. Okay. Uh, Lao. Um, Traditional dresses, I guess. Silk, scarves. Look at the hair. Yeah, toys. Yeah, stuffed toys, aren't they, Mel? Oh. Okay. Why not? Plenty of uh, jewelry there for you to pick from. Hmm. Vietnamese hats again. They do wear them in Lao. Oh, look, New York. Baseball caps. And here we go, some more shopping. Just past these monks. Mm. Oh, I got everything here. That's about the same as the last floor, but it's, uh, okay. This is top of the grid. Oh, that was a really pleasant walk up those stairs in that heat. I wonder if they've got a hospital up here. Whee. Very good. I believe they're going to put elevators in in 2010. I don't think they really did it. I read that somewhere. Whee. Hell of a walk, I tell you. But it, uh, I suppose it's worth it. I think um, I walked upstairs. I have something interesting. And then I go up. Nothing here. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, government building. And that's called the Musical Fountain. Beautiful view up here. Hmm, very nice. City of Vientiane. Very nice. There are lots of Buddha images around the monument. And on the top are five towers shaped like the stupas. Like this one. 
probably could all do with a coat of paint. I uh, think it needs a little bit of a renovation up here. I think it has definitely seen better days. This is the view from the other side of the monument. Yeah, Vienne's in such a... I can't believe how clean it is. It's actually a very, very nice city. Look at that. In the centre of the Victory Monument, there's uh, these paintings on the ceiling. Or artwork, if you would like to call it that. And it's really impressive. Looks really nice. A lot of people have been taking photos of this. Make me sick after a while, my head on an angle like that. End up with whiplash. If you don't want to do that, just bring a mirror with you. All jokes aside, it's very, very impressive. Yeah, sure. Okay. Go for it. You're going to interview me, are you? Interview. Oh, okay. You ready? Good morning. Sorry, crap. Yeah. yeah. Where are you from? Australia. Australia. Oh, Australia is a really good, beautiful yes, country. Yes, it's a beautiful country, yes. Yeah. I want to go. I live in, I live in Bangkok. Oh, you live in yeah. Bangkok? Uh, sorry, what's your name? Stephen. Stephen? Stephen, yeah. How long have you been here? Yet? In, yeah. Well, um... Oh, uh, two nights. Oh, two nights. Two nights? Yeah. Okay, and have you plans to go to another province? No, I haven't got the time. I have to go back. Go back? My car's across the border. It's too hard to bring a car in here. Mine's this side, you'll drive this side, you know. Okay. Do you yeah. enjoy in Yeah, it's good. Here. Yeah. No, the, the Tuk Tuk drivers are a bit hard. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. Okay. Yeah. What's your name? My name is Ned Gale. Ned Gale. Oh, okay. Yeah. And what, 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 you got to school, yeah? Oh, I study at the Ratanak College. Okay, and how old are you? Oh. Um, 70 years old. 70? 70. 17. Not 70. 70 very old. No, 20 years old. <laughs> 70 years old? 20 years old. 20? Yeah. Oh, okay. And what do you do at school? Uh, in the morning, I study at Banking Institute. Banking, okay. Yeah, and right. in the evening, I study at Latana Torrey Research. English business. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah. That's good. Okay. Yeah. Thank you for No problem. Sure, ma'am. Do you have English? My, my internet. Do you have internet? You have internet? Thailand. Yes. You see? She's a little interviewer. Although Pa Tu Sai, or Victory Monument if you like, seems to be a copy of Oc de Clion in Paris, it stands on its own as a symbol of Laos independence. Pa Tu Sai is really worth a visit if you're travelling to the beautiful city of Vientiane in Laos. I want to give you all a huge thanks for watching. Please remember to give this video a thumbs up and a like. 
you click on the bell notification for any new videos we release. And I would love to hear from you guys in the comments section below. I'll do my very best to answer each and every one. There are links for Patreon and PayPal if you would like to support us in making videos. Any help would be most appreciated. Until we meet again, have a good one.